you knew what it was. Tell me what you think it was, and I'll tell you if you got it right. I, I already told you. No, all you did, what you told me is you distinguished it from reason. So tell me specifically yes, that, that, what you think fideism is. is. That so is fideism, fideism is. Is, is, is non-rationality? No, fideism says that we can use faith and reason and that we can, uh, that we can arrive at different results. No, fide, fideism doesn't include re reason because you just contradicted yourself. Yes, because it you, does. You drew a listen, listen, you are, you're now contradicting yourself. Okay? You're contradicting now, philosophy. I want you to tell me right now specifically what is your understanding specifically of fideism, not what it is not. I, I just told you. I'm waiting. I have already told you. Like, I can tell you again. Are you going to ask me again I after I tell you? I want you to. You haven't told me. What is fideism? He's told you twice already. I'm waiting. Sorry, he already fideism waiting. is using faith to come to a conclusion. Okay. And, it's, and, and at the same time, within fideism, says that you can use reason and come to a different conclusion than faith. That is why faith is, is used there, instead is, of reason. It's saying that, that it is a different method. Okay. Is, is, is the, you, so you're saying is, is using faith. Okay. Does that, does that, yes. faith in, does that faith include a justificatory path? Uh, yeah, I believe that if somebody has that faith is in not, something... That, no, that's thing. wrong, wrong. That is not what fideism is. Okay, if you're going to ask me what fide I think, and then you're going to yeah, tell me well, wrong, wrong. So you don't before know. I even finish. So, so okay. fideism is Why a can't I finish a thing. sentence around you? Like, why can't you, you, I finish? You can, but you don't know what you're talking about. And you're, you claim to be okay, a well, then, scholar. Okay, well, then there's no point in me having this conversation. If you yeah. Blow over me and just steamroll yeah. me. I mean, if you want to throw in the towel, you obviously do not know what you're talking about. I mean, you can call it throwing in the towel, but I'm refusing well, to box with somebody one, who's just running the around one, the ring. I'm not the one coming to the table calling myself a biblical scholar. Can you tell me where did you where did you earn? I your PhD? am. I am. Where where did you earn your PhD? I, I have two masters. I don't have a PhD yet. Oh, okay. What are I'm your working, masters? I'm, I'm, what are you? What are your I'm, masters? I'm working what, on my. Uh, what are I'm your masters in? God damn it! Can I? Can I? Fuck. I'm waiting. I can't even hear what you said because I'm trying to talk in your inner question while I'm. I, I'm waiting. Again, I didn't hear what the fuck you said because you interrupted because you're so rude. I'm waiting for an answer. I'm waiting for a question. Fuck. I said, what are your masters in? Oh, in New Testament studies, in Hebrew Bible, and ancient Near East studies. Okay, New 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 Testament studies. So the, so the New Testament is not the infallible, inerrant word, word of God. So where are you going Correct. to turn? Where are you going to? Oh, so you're going, you're going to turn that your cognition is the ultimate authority. But you told me that you accept that God mm -hmm. secured that providentially by fideism. Fideism is a belief. No, that's not what I said. Okay. How do you know? that your cognition ha has been secured to operate at a basic, reliable, uh, foundational level by God. How, how, how do you know that? Is that a claim that I make? Yeah, you, you did earlier. Or repeat the question. You told me that your cognition is the ultimate authority, which is kind of mm -hmm. silly because God, by if you believe in God, then God, by definition, would be the ultimate authority. So you well, have a problem that's there. Why I asked you to, that's why I asked you to define authority. How could right? your because, cognition like, be the ultimate authority. authority? How could, I, I already explained it to you. Ultimate authority is the final determined the, the final court of appeal as to what the nature of anything is. And you told me emphatically it was your cognition. How can your cognition be the ultimate and final authority when you believe in God? 
So that is my ultimate and final authority. Like, however, God understands. So things God is not be that is His epistemology. We do not share the epistemology. Okay, God doesn't have a theory of knowledge. God doesn't need one because He knows the truth value of all propositions. Now, so what you're the your ultimate authority. Hold on a second. Believing that it's infallible. So you're you're the ultimate authority, but God is not. What is your justification in saying that? I asked you a question. That, that the, I asked you a question. You're the ultimate authority. I, I asked you one before not. you asked me that. You interrupted so me to ask we, me that now we're question. Going to plan B, now we're going to plan B again. No, you interrupted me to ask a question. Okay, you know what? Like, I'll I was play your game. The process of I'll asking play, you know what? I'll, you I'll play me. your little – listen, I'll play your little dodge game, but you're still going to get smoked no, out. No, if you're going to play my game, then play my game. Part of my game – Yeah. Answer answer your evasive question, yeah, and then you're going to proceed and answer my question. Right. I'm waiting. Okay. How do you know that the Word of God is inerrant and infallible? Through God's revelation. That's well, what does the that only mean? way. Can you, can, can you elaborate? Because since God is the ultimate authority, we can only know some things and anything in virtue of God's revelatory acts. Now, that's an answer to your, to your question. What revelatory which act? Try to evade. Now, okay, all of no, God's you're, actions, you're I'm just all talking about of the God's Bible. God's actions. I'm talking about the all Bible. All of God's you know the actions. Bible is okay, infallible. that's the third time I tried to uh, finish. No, you haven't answered God. the question. All haven't, still haven't answered God's the question, buddy. Actions. All Still haven't of answered God's the question. actions. That's the fifth time I've tried to answer you. Still haven't All, answered. The sixth Still times answered. I've tried to answer you. How do you know All the word of God of, is infallible? I, this is the seventh time I've tried to answer you. How do you know All it's infallible? The eighth time I've tried to answer you. Okay? All of God's actions are revelatory in, in nature, including not, not, not just Scripture— but his creation. For example, the psalmist says Three the heavens definition. declare the glory, the glory, the, the glory of God. Now, I answered your attempt to dodge by answering no. me a question. Now, no, you did not. You you are did not the, I just answered your question. I just answered your question. Now, no, since no, you are the no, you ultimate didn't. authority, but what that means is, is God cannot be. There cannot be two ultimate authorities. So how is it that your cognition is the ultimate authority, but not God? When it comes to my perception, I am the ultimate Well, I'm not talking about your perception. I'm talking about the sum to to toto of you as a person. Either you are the ultimate authority or God is. Which is it? I'm waiting. Not hearing anything. I'm waiting. Yo, Darth, have Did you ever get muted or something? I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Yeah, so what he's doing now is now he's pretending that okay, he can't cool. hear Okay, cool. So we, we're just going to mute people then. Okay. Okay. So he, he's pretending he can't hear me. Okay. He's pretending he can't hear me. He can see the green light showing up on my screen because he realizes he's in trouble because I played his little dodge game. Now, how can you be the ultimate authority? That means that God is not. Explain that. Isn't it amazing how he had connect? Isn't it amazing how he had connection issues and sound issues when I played his little game and then I get back to my question, which he didn't want to answer, and he's not here anymore. And this is a guy who says that he's a biblical scholar. But we've just been through this, Darth, a couple of days ago. Ultimately, everybody's final authority is their own mind, even in your case. Um. No, that's that that's incorrect. Every bit of information you contain okay. is contained within your mind, and you cannot yeah. uh, appeal to anything outside of it without first going through your mind and trusting your mind. How how do you know that? How do you mean? How do I know that? 